Has this ever happened to you? You try and charge your mobile phone and realize now the charge is on its very last legs. And like me, you probably went over to Amazon and go and spend a few pounds and get something that's lasting a few weeks and soon you realize you have to only plug it in a certain way because that's the only way it works. And then after another few weeks you realize now that one has gone as well and in the process you have repaired some, you bought some, you threw some away and at this point you're totally fed up. So at this point you decide, listen, I'll spend a little bit more and I'll get myself a little better charger. So you go to Amazon, you buy Amazon Basics Charger. This one costs £5.39. You get it in a nice little box. You take it out, you feel it, you look at it, you think, hmm, that's a little better. Again, this one unfortunately only lasts a few weeks before you also end up throwing it away. At the end you decide, listen, that's it. I'll spend a little bit more. This one arrives, you take it out of the box, to your surprise, it's got a nice little leather casing. It's a gorgeous little charger. It's nice and long, clearly some good quality in there. And also, inside, is a little note that says, not happy, and happy. There's instructions there to do, for you to do something in case you might not be happy about the product. So the service is very good. Say six months go by and that charger is in need of replacement. You then decide, listen, I'll go all the way. I'll invest 20 pounds in this nice little charger. It comes with a leather strap, all instructions. It's reinforced. There's ways on the back that you can send it back if you're not happy with it. Outstanding. Now I'm sure those things have happened to you because it's happened to me. My question to you today is, do we follow the same principle when we look after items that we've invested a great amount of money in? If we consider doing the same with our car, we've invested a heavy amount in our car, we decided to care for it, we service it, are we going to go out there and get the cheapest possible service for the vehicle? Let's look at maybe considering a service around the home. You need to get your wood floors restored. Maybe you need to get your carpets cleaned. Which one of these is equal to the way in which you go about those? Maybe it's time to replace the flooring. Are you gonna go out there and get something like this? Or are you gonna go out there, get something like that, that's only gonna last you a few weeks? Or might you decide this investment is so important to you that you're rather one top of the range? My advice to you is, you alone will know at what point your budget will stretch. There is no point in creating all this time wasting by going for the cheapest option possible. My advice is know your budget, know where it fits and know the drawbacks. My name is Pierre DeWitt with Art of Clean and I hope you found this helpful. Have a good day.